We are, we are lucky here. We have built a team that uh, today is, uh, I think I can say, quite successful in uh, the most significant projects currently in, uh, in, uh, in Africa, whether francophone or, by the way, anglophone. Uh, clearly, the team in Paris is uh, more occupied by Afri uh, francophone Africa project, but we have also colleagues in London and we work all together for anglophone uh, countries. We are pretty busy on uh, power projects. Uh, currently, we must have here something like uh, seven uh, power projects ongoing simultaneously on, on the continent. We advise other uh, uh, lenders, so usually multilateral banks or governments, and sometimes uh, sponsors. Uh, this is across uh, countries like Cameroon, country like Gabon, and uh, country like uh, Democratic Republic of uh, Congo. In the early 90s, uh, in terms of uh, uh, availability of, uh, of the laws, it was a, a mess, if I may say, because you never, you never knew in a, in, a, in a field, in a specific area, what was the law applicable. And even if you know, you don't even know where to get a copy for the investors. Uh, it was a nightmare in terms of legal security just to know whether this is the law as it, it, it is applicable or has it been man, uh, amended. Nobody knew. What OADA was trying to, to, to do, and that is now achieved, is that in any specific area of business law, you know what the law is, what is its latest state, and as an investor that's maybe uh, uh, trying to invest in many countries in the region, the law you have is, is the same in 16 countries. I am sure investors enjoy that benefit. You don't need to check the company law in Senegal, the company law in Cameroon, the company law in, uh, in Gabon. It's all the same. We have to, 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 to establish a bridge between expectations of, uh, of uh, counterparts who, as you said, are in a country which is still improving in terms of uh, uh, state building and, uh, 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 and on institutional fronts. And on the other side, uh, investors who, of course, are greedy, who want quick decision, who at the same time who want uh, uh, legal security, what they have signed, they want to ensure that it is binding and uh, in, uh, in case of change, uh, uh, on institutional front that it would not, the agreement would not be re uh, reversed. Uh, of course, as lawyers, we, <laughs> we, we cannot ensure, we can draft and with the, uh, uh, the help of local counsel, ensure that what is signed as the state of law is binding uh, uh, to the party. At the end of the day is whether you have in the room people who understand what are the constraints, expectations, uh, of both sides and if you are able to put together a, a team that can understand the expectation and constraint of both sides then I believe you have a team that can help a uh, uh, project to be completed and to be successful. There are so many, so many opportunities and so many projects so we can just see that strength uh, increasing, no doubt about that. The challenge for uh, Chinese investors is how they are aware of the expectation of their counterparts, especially in terms of execution. I believe one of the one of the um, relevant uh, features of uh, Chinese Africa investment is Chinese investors are able to conclude quickly, as opposed to Western investors, because of. Uh, uh, you know, all the uh, uh, financing structure that they need to put in place before uh, uh, doing any major deal. Chinese investors can, can make decisions quickly, but where sometimes there are frustrations from their counterparties and uh, they can improve and make their investment even uh, 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 more appreciable to their counterparties' execution. What is signed is the implementation done as parties has provided when we decide that we signed in December 2011 
and maybe the first work starts in June 2012. Do we start in 2012 or a few years later we are still uh, discussing? I believe that's one of the challenges for China investment. If, if there are progress on that front, I'm sure that there's going to be really, really beneficial uh, projects for both sides.